it something like a hymn. My wrist on gold just like a hymn. Live life bad just like a hymn. Yo, what up, what up, YouTube fams, your boy FLA, back with another video. Unfortunately, uh, this is kind of a sad, depressing video, but uh, I figure I'll keep you on the loop of what's going on. Uh, about two weeks ago, got in a car accident. I was coming down 95, it was raining, wasn't even speeding, I was going like 60. Went over this overpass, and on the bottom, I hit like a hill or water puddle or something rear end just slid from under me like instantly man it was crazy you know uh hydroplane did like two or three circles in the middle of 95 and then was headed straight into a concrete barrier and luckily you know a car hit me and slowed me down and um you know that's about it man i'm up here at the body shop right now they calling it a total loss so uh five seven octane is a uh, goodbye so man you know We'll see what happens, what's coming to the channel. Stay tuned. You know, I'm going to show you a couple clips from the day of the accident. And then, uh, you know, I'm going to show you what the baby looking like now, man. But, uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe, like, follow. And if you're local, hit me up, man. I'm going to have a lot of car parts for sale. Holla, FLA Hemi, over and out. What up, what up, guys? What up, uh, YouTube fam? Kind of a depressing video. That I'm about to record right now. It's been raining for like two days up here. And uh, I was coming through downtown. And I must have hit a bump or something. I wasn't even speeding like that, man. Hit a bump. Hydroplane. Car did like three turns in the middle of the freaking highway. And the car hit me. You know, luckily I'm good. Everything's straight. But uh, the car's going to be out of commission. I don't even know if they're going to be able to fix it or not. But uh, we're going to see what happens, man. So, uh, I'll keep you on the loop. I'm going to show you all what the car looking like right now. Yeah, man, I was coming southbound on 95. Right after that hill right there, I must have hit a bump or something. I wasn't even speeding, man. I was going like probably 65. Hit a bump, hydroplane, did like two circles right here. I hit the guardrail somewhere up there. Probably somewhere around there. And then, you know, this lady hit me in her Corolla. But my shit definitely more damaged. Look at this shit, man. That rim done. Quarter panel done. I'm hoping they total this bitch out, man. Huh? Nah. Nah, tow truck's coming. No. As you see, the front bumper done. Now, I'm just worried about my wheels, man, because I don't know what they do with aftermarket wheels in situations like this. I don't know. But that shit creased up. This shit might be total, man. So I'm going to keep y'all in the loop and see what happens. FLA Hemi over and out. Damn, boy, it's some bullshit. Shit crazy. Man, after looking, boy. I don't know if you can see it. That control arm, that control arm is snapped in half right there. Control arm snapped in half. And I hope they total this bit out. Damn, man. Time for Octane 2.0. Man, this shit sucks though, for real, man. 
But I'm gonna keep you on the loop. I'll let your boy. There she go, there she go. We're gonna see what it do. Hopefully uh something new to the channel coming. Something new to the channel. Well there she is, man. There she is. You know I'm gonna have pictures too from uh when it actually happened, they done tore it down. You know, it don't look too bad on this side. Most of the damage is over here. I don't know if that was a concrete barrier I hit on one of my turnarounds or if a car, if, I don't think it was a car. That had to be the, the barricade because I did two or three circles. And, you know, as you see, the control arm bent, uh, broke, snapped in half, a bunch of mechanical stuff in there. Um, as you see, this is creased up right here. And then, a Toyota Corolla hit me in the front. You know, you're not going to be able to tell now because they took it all apart. But she hit me right here on this side. And luckily, that slowed me down from crashing into the concrete barrier, man. So, you know, it sucks taking the nail right now. But could have been a lot worse, man. A lot worse. So, I'm blessed. You know, walked away. Wasn't even wearing my seatbelt, man. Like usual, man. He always got my back. So, you know. Done stripped his puppy down, done took out the Mopar intake, done took the hood off. Everything for sale, everything gotta go. But yeah, man, stay tuned, stay tuned. I'm already looking, just trying to figure out, you know, what's the next move. I gotta wait for all this to be finalized, and we'll see what's up, man. Oh, snap, I gotta get my tag, bro, they tripping. Yeah, yeah, that's the last thing I gotta get. Okay. I took all my upgraded speakers out. I took everything that I could take, man. The, the rims, I don't even care about them. They can have them. But that's about it. About to get the tag. That's it, man. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, man. This ain't the downfall of FLA, bro. This is only the come up, man. I'll let your boy, FLA Hemi, over and out. See ya to the 5.7 Scat Octane.